Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. Today I want to talk to you about the most common signs and symptoms of an S1 nerve root compression. This gentleman here has classic signs. We're going to go through those today. Thank you so much for helping us educate folks out there about what this actually looks like. Uh, obviously a painful situation and so we'll try to be as cautious as we can be today with our evaluation. So first things first, this happened about three weeks ago, correct? Correct. And if I remember right, you were doing heavy labor in the woods using a chainsaw and I know what that's all about. You know, you're hauling chains and you're moving logs and things like that and had this sudden increase in pain in the left side. Now you've had this in the past, correct? Yeah, this would be my probably third time in over 20 years. Okay. Yeah. Um, and usually it kind of just gets better on its own. Yeah. Okay. And this time is kind of hanging out. Now, tell me about, like during the day you're not too bad, but your nights are miserable, aren't they? Yeah, uh, there's no comfortable position for sleeping to, yeah. to engage that pain or disengage that pain. Right. So can you show us where you have most of your discomfort? Yeah, so if I were to hone in on one place, I would I would grab my lower buttocks. Yeah. Uh, right right down there in the crease between my, my hamstring and my bottom, but it's right inside my butt, deep down yep. in there, um, transitioning into the hamstring. Okay, does it go down past your knee? So the nerve sensation, I can track that nerve right down the back of my leg sometimes, and pretty much I'm doing it right now. When I get right in there, it's you feel it even more, and kind of disappears there, but yeah, I can track the, the, that nerve sensation yep. all the way down, at least that far. Tingling into the uh, lower leg at all? Yeah, yeah, tingling. I, when it first happened, it wrapped on, outside my leg, wrapped right around all my toes almost. That subsided within the first week, but there's absolutely lingering tingling on the outside of my foot to my the small toe. Okay, yeah. so as far as sensation goes, um, we did some sensory testing to find that this is okay, we're okay up here. Um, when we get down to the outside down here, yeah, yeah, a little yeah. more altered sensation, yeah. and then if we get to the outside of the foot, definitely altered sensation on the outside of that. Okay, foot. yep. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go through uh, some reflex testing. I want you to take your hands and pull them apart. I want you to look up, and we're going to do L4. We get a little bit of extension there. It, it's hard, going to be hard for you to see on the video, but he's getting some reflex there. Now, if we do the right side, relax that foot. I'm going to do his Achilles, S1. I got a nice one there. Achilles on this side. I get nothing. Um, so that drives us in the direction of S1 because of this loss of sensation or decreased sensation here, loss of reflex here. Now let's do some manual muscle testing. Can you hold those big toes up? So hold that there, L5, good. Hold this one here, L5, good. Hold the foot up toward the ceiling, don't let me push it down, four, good. Don't let me push your leg down. Three, four, good. And can you pick this knee up off the table? Hold it tight. So we've got some good resistance here. Two, three, hold, good. Now, can I get you to stand over here? I'd like you to stand on the good leg first and go up onto your toes five times. Two, three, four, five. And now let's try it on the other side. And we can't even get the heel up off the floor here. Also, just put both feet on the floor. Notice the significant atrophy in his calf, all right? So this is telling us that we have a, a very significant S1 nerve root compression. So I'm gonna ask you to lie right down on the table if you would for me. And I'm gonna do a little straight leg raise test, okay? And we're gonna do it on the good side first. And let me know if that reproduces your pain down the other leg. That's just my max stretch right there. Okay, normal. so. That's my normal max, max stretch. Pretty tight. Yeah. Now we're gonna do this side and I'll go slow. You tell me when it starts. Yeah, it's coming on and right, right. Pretty there. significant pain going down the leg. Yeah, okay, definitely. I'm gonna back off a little bit. So that's a straight leg raise test. I'm now gonna do a braggarts test. Tell me if that reproduces your discomfort. Right there, yeah. Okay, yeah. so that is significant for a positive straight leg raise test in regards to neural tension. I, I'm 100% positive he has nerve root compression at S1, most probably from a herniated disc. I also checked out his hip to find that he has good hip motion. As you can see, when I bend his knee, we can flex him well so he doesn't have a positive sign of the buttock. So what do we do? 
There are two types of irritation to the nerve root. There's mechanical, where something is actually pushing on the nerve and causing irritation. Or there's chemical, where there's just swelling and inflammation around the nerve that can make the nerve angry and give you a lot of pain. So things like an anti-inflammatory, non steroidal anti-inflammatory, um, if his uh, provider wants to uh, prescribe like a, a prednisone or something like that to help decrease that inflammation, that can be helpful too. Our biggest concern here is that he has all of the signs and symptoms of an S1 nerve root compression. And if that goes on too long, may end up with some permanent weakness in that leg. So we're going to do some therapy. We're doing some light McKenzie extension, which is not reproducing his pain. So being on the elbows and shifting away to the opposite side. We're doing some core stability in a pelvic neutral position, which has not been painful and trying to do a little bit of cardiovascular reconditioning. Okay. Um, but we are keeping a very close eye on the weakness. And if we do not see significant improvement there, we are going to check out the MRI, which is coming and then a possible neurosurgical consult if it is not improving. Sometimes an injection can be helpful also, but that will help with the chemical irritation, not necessarily the mechanical compression. All right, so that is our game plan. And again, thank you for letting us utilize you to demonstrate what an S1 nerve root compression looks like. Uh, be sure to check out all the rest of our videos. Uh, we have other levels that we uh, talk about and um, we hope you like our content and be sure to let your colleagues and friends know about us. Thanks.